We're getting a breakdown of a critical report of Dallas County's juvenile justice system and what's really happening to boys and girls. Yeah, and that report found the system isn't rehabilitating children and in some cases actually helping create criminals at a pretty young age. District Attorney John Cruzo requested that review and he told our Robbie Owens today why it's critical that they get to the solution and get to it right now. The teenager who police believe shot and killed a father of five is going to be tried as an adult. It is only when teenage suspects are tried as adults that their names become known. The juvenile system shields young offenders, promising second chances. He's been in and out of the juvenile justice system, we found, since he was 12 years old. Second chances that are too often squandered. A similar case already had Dallas County DA John Crujeau asking where the system failed. The one in particular and we have a case where there was a capital murder committed and it was in the Preston Hollow area and that uh, suspect and now defendant is uh, was a juvenile and had been through the system two or three times and it begged the question if he's been through why did he wind up killing someone the search for answers led to a more than year-long outside review. The report from nonprofit Evident Change concluded that Dallas County system did not do enough to rehabilitate low-level offenders, and the time taken to dispose of cases fell far below national standards. And if you notice in the report, 64% of them go home eventually. The problem is they've been locked up with the worst criminals for six months. And so who's learning from who? We're really working against ourselves by saying that a kid who comes in for a low-level theft sits there for six months. Well, he's going to learn from the murder and the armed robbery how to do what? Commit murder and armed robbery. A shared responsibility for how it got this way yep. and a need to collaborate. We need to put down our barriers and say we haven't done it so well and let's try to do it as best we can. Now, the end goal, of course, is to keep young offenders from winding up here. So D.A. Cruzo says he is already working with county stakeholders, including County Commissioner John Wally Price and juvenile justice leaders, because he says it is going to take every piece of this system making changes to turn things around. Doug and Nicole? Yeah, it makes sense. We understand it's a collaborative effort, but any immediate changes in the D.A.'s office that you caught wind of today? Absolutely, Doug. They are already, they tell me, compiling a list of cases to review. They're going to begin that process, they say, so they can uh, get the services that are needed and review those cases so that those who are facing misdemeanor charges, they can get them out of detention before they can well learn to get into even more trouble. Doug? Makes some sense. Robbie Owens, thank you so much.